Yo, what's up guys, you're Jinga Dink here. Welcome to a video all about Mortal Kombat 11 Combat Pack. Have not seen this video yet today, um, but I'm not going to act like I don't have a very good idea of who's involved in this. So uh, let's get this to uh, see what's going on here. We already knew that existed. We already knew that existed. What? Okay, I like her face, the style that I went for there. As long as they keep the cape, I think most people are going to be happy with that. That was kind of creepy. I really hope they get Arnie to actually voice that character. Overall, it's a good roster, actually. I like what they've done with it. Now, this is... Hold on. Available now, available now. October 8th, November 26th, January, and then March. Ah, uh, I saw this online. And this is where I have an issue with this. Is, like, that's just so spread out. Like, I feel like so many people are going to lose interest in the game by the time that Spawn even comes out and maybe they revisit the game. I'm just worried about people like feeling cheated or whatnot about purchasing this fighter pack, you know, before they even knew who was involved in it, A, and B, when they were going to get it. <laughs> so it just, this is, there's been a lot of things lately that it seems blatant to kind of call out NRS on it, but it really seems like somebody else's hands are in this game. And I have no idea why. Like, it's a weird change to take at this point in time. Because MK11 seemed to do quite well. Um, MKX did quite well, and Justice 2 did quite well, and it seemed like NRS was involved in those, like had the main control over that. So I really don't know what changed here and why it seems that like Ed Boon has apologized for lack of communication and stuff like that. And it's, uh, it's very concerning to me, actually, and I would really like it if we could give NRS their game back <laughs> so that they can do what they want. Uh, like I said, I don't know anything confirmed on that part, but something something deeper is at play here. It just doesn't. It's nothing really adds up. They've always had the same structure, and it seems like maybe they committed to this beforehand, or something. I don't know. If it is NRS, they made a big mistake here, but it just doesn't feel. And from tweets and stuff you've seen from Ed Boon, it just doesn't feel like this is a hundred percent their game. They're just kind of having strings pulled somewhere else. And it's a shame, because it's a, obviously a great franchise. It's my favorite franchise, so... I don't know. I don't know what to say. Roster's good. I really have a big issue with the release of the characters, so... Um, a bright side from this, though, is... Uh, hopefully it means they'll support the game longer, because they have been kind of, um, in the past criticized for, like, kind of just dumping the game after, like, a year. Like, here's your Game of the Year edition, and we're done. See you later. <laughs> so maybe with this, if there ends up being a combat pack 2, that I think is going to be the main factor if they even have a combat pack 2. Because if there's drawing this one out this long, how long is the second one going to be drawn out for? That might mean more updates, that kind of thing. Maybe there's things that they want to add in, but maybe are a little bit more time consuming, like maybe more areas to the crypt, which I've been begging for since day one. I really loved enjoying the crypt. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. Combat Pack 2, everyone's talking about Ash Williams. There was a leaked image. Well, there was an image on online, but I think that was doctored. I don't think that was real, saying that you can get a combat pack with Ash Williams and Shang Tsung and blah, blah, blah. And I just don't think that's real. But that's my opinion. Maybe it is. Who knows? Um, now, the other thing you got to think about is if they're going to draw out Combat Pack 2... They're probably working on Injustice 3 at that same time. So how good are these characters actually going to be if they have if most of their manpower is working towards their next game? So that makes me skeptical, A, if they were actually going to have a second combat pack, and B, of the quality of said combat pack if they have it. So anyways, guys, that's just one man's opinion. Thank you, NRS, for not showing any crushing blows or anything in here so I can actually hopefully get monetized in this video and people can see it. 
Yay. If you like my opinion on things, want to see some gameplay, subscribe. I don't get very many videos where I can do this. If <laughs> it reaches new audiences, yay. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube. Anyways, guys, leave a like. This really helps me out. And subscribe, because we make new videos every single day. Hashtag Big Dink Energy. And we'll see all you guys in the next video. I am steward of Corona's vision. So cool to me.